back with a new video. Um, I have got a new company that I am reviewing. This is Moco Queen and they do contact lenses obviously. And uh, these guys are like, say Color CL, who I almost exclusively review, they're more in the realm of natural contacts with a little bit of um, costume lenses. Moco Queen has the majority of costume lenses with a few natural looking lenses. And so I have four pairs here that I'm going to review and uh, talk a little bit about this company. I did um, an unboxing, which I'll add on to this probably here somewhere. All right, so this is a new company that I have um, just come across and I was asked to check it out and to review some of their contact lenses. So this is what the box looks like. It's quite a nice little box. Um, inside, this is what it looks like. And they give you, you know, your lenses like this, and they give you your little contact lens case with the little tweezers. And no, oh yeah, and a suction cup. I don't use any suction cup, but I do use, oh no, I don't use tweezers either. I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. <laughs> um, in this one, yeah, so I haven't opened this yet. So this is the first time they, there's a little note to me here. It's a very nice little, I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to open it in a second, but they sent me a really nice little note. Um, the first pair of lenses that I got from them, which I will try on and show you, these are this anime red, and originally I'd wanted these because it was yellow with red, so it would look like a puddle of blood. It didn't quite look the same in pictures um, as it does in real life, but when I told them that, they were very, very kind about it and said that they would update their pictures online to make sure it's more to what the contacts really look like. Um, the second pair, I thought these were pretty awesome. I would love to find a pair like this in red, but these are just a yellow rim around your eye. You can't really see it too well in my eyes because my eyes are so dark, but I just thought that they were pretty cool anyway. These are the um, New York N Green, and I have been wanting to try the, the New York series for a while. Uh, they didn't have the blue on the site, but I do like green more than blue, so I'm going to be very eager to try these out. And I got these, which are completely covered up, um, but these are yellow screen, which I thought were pretty cool, and I definitely want to try those out. So I will do a show and tell part to this when I get dressed. These are the, um, the end green. And I have always wanted to try these lenses because I like the small pupil hole and I'd always seen the New York and blue and those are the ones I've been trying desperately to get my hands on but none of the sites that I review for have them and uh, you know my money situation has still not changed and so I can't afford to buy them myself but this company had the green and I actually prefer green eyes over blue anyway so I was quite excited to try these and as you can see these are really really nice lenses let me get like a light in closer here um, my makeup's not too great at the moment either I apologize but um, you can see these lenses are gorgeous they are very very pretty they've got like a dark green rim around them and they fade into a lighter green going around the pupil hole and green always looks really natural to me um, I mean they do make green contacts out there that are very unnatural looking but I I find for the most part green lenses usually look quite natural and I was gonna do this whole thing where I changed my makeup and got all dressed up for every color that I did but I just I'm not really feeling it so I'm probably just gonna pop them on and show you guys and then you know take a couple pictures afterwards but um these are the green and i really really love this color i see absolutely nothing wrong with them and these are actually by far my favorite from the whole lot
these contacts are very interesting. Um, there wasn't a really a good picture of them online, so I just had to try them out. Now, since I have poo brown eyes, they don't look that great on me like they would on somebody with colored eyes, I'd imagine. Although I would absolutely love to see this in red. But these contacts are basically just a yellow rim around your eye. The inside is just clear and it is a cool looking yellow rim. I mean, I do like it. It is understated, you know, say from a distance, you can kind of see, um, Josh says it looks like I have jaundice <laughs> because it looks like, you know, it's yellow. Um, again, if I had colored eyes, I think this would look a lot better. And I kind of suspect that they wouldn't look amazing on me, but I just had to try them out because they are so unique looking. These were the ones that I was the most excited to get, but they were the ones that I was actually the most disappointed with. Now, it's no problem with the actual lenses. It's more a problem with um, the fact that the picture was a bit different than how the lenses looked. But the customer service is actually super, super good. And when I voiced my concerns with them, they actually, they helped me out. I'm not going to go into detail with what they did, but um, they were very quick to reply, um, very apologetic. They said they would update the pictures online and um, they actually seemed to care a lot, which is really cool. Now, I feel like I've got one of these inside out as I usually do. And... I do. It actually looks better inside out. Inside out is more how they look um, on the website than the effect is actually, oh, you know, that's more even, um, right? But it looks better the other way, right? <laughs> um, it looks like um, yellow contacts with a pool of blood at the bottom, but these are more half and half. So the picture online did look like yellow with a pool and these look more half and half. Um, I'm not sure if they slide around because I have not worn them yet, like long enough to know if they're going to slide. But I mean, as you can see, it's a really pretty contact. It is really cool. Um, you know, half yellow, half red, and it's got, you know, some white in it like that. It's got like the white highlight already in the eye. So I think it's a very unusual, very beautiful contact. You can twirl it around, I'm sure, and have like you know, the yellow down at the bottom and the red at the top and just kind of, I would say customize it if that's the right term, which it kind of is. You can wear them either way. I'm not sure which way I like it better though. I probably like it better with the red on the outside because it does still semi resemble a little bit of a pool of blood that way. So I kind of have them turned this way. I know this is probably gross to a lot of people and I apologize. My eyes are not sensitive so I, I can touch them all the time. But yeah, so these were my least favorite, most sought after but least favorite and um, I mean seeing them on video, they're not bad. I mean I, I don't have an issue with them anymore. I just was kind of disappointed when I first saw them because they didn't look like pools of blood like I expected. But um, like I said, the customer service, they, they took care of me and they were very, very sweet. So um, first issue that came up and they handle it. So I have nothing bad to say about it. All right. And this last pair are my second favorites out of everything. Now, I can't really see. I see everything through a yellow haze. Um, these are actually bright, bright, bright yellow screen lenses, but because my eyes are dark, they look uh, kind of greenish, I think. Um, so this is what they look like up close. And you can see through them, just not clearly. Like I can see my face, I can see my ring lights. Um, I know Josh is over there, but I can't see him because he's wearing black, although I think I do see his foot. And I can see the TV. I can see whites and bright colors, but I can't see anything dark. So these would be good for photos, but not as such for going out or doing anything where you hope to be able to see what you're doing. All in all though, I really do like the way these look from what I could see. I'll be able to see them more clearly here. And I did decide just to put a little bit of color coordination with it. 
I don't have a um, yellow wig. I have a rainbow wig with lots of yellow on it, but it just didn't look too good today, and I cannot be bothered going through all that to try to make it look decent. So I put on my favorite or second favorite wig and thought at least green would go with yellow. So I wanted to um, say a huge thank you to Mocha Queen for sending me these lenses to review. Um, I am I am very impressed with the customer service. To me, they are very much like Color CL as far as customer service goes. Um, Pinky Paradise, not so much. Um, other places I've gotten lenses from, mm, not too much. But um, Mocha Queen. Um, Color CL, and then there's another company that I'm going to review lenses for as soon as they come in. Uh, they're also all three really good companies, and they seem to really care about their customers. They answer your questions right away, and they're very polite, they're very nice, and they seem very eager to make their customers happy, which is very, very important. Um, but yeah, uh, the lenses seem good quality. They have great coverage. They look pretty cool. They have a huge selection. I had a really hard time choosing what I wanted to review because they actually have quite a few cool lenses there. Maybe I'll be able to review some more in the future, but even if not, these are these four are a good starting point for you to be able to kind of see the quality and what they look like. I'm very, very happy with them, and I highly recommend them. Please go check them out. I will put the link in the description below, and I will see you guys next time.